Okay, Pranjal, can you hear me? Unmute, yes, unmute, sir. Pranjal. Yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. Pranjal, now I think you have written an answer for some question, right? Yes. Hmm. Let's discuss that question. Me and uh, Aman sir will discuss with you what you have written. So this we are writing for controller general patent, huh? Yes, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So Aman, can this be made straight? I don't know. Uh, I'm looking into it, sir. I guess there is not an option for it. The first page is uh, problematic. After that, this is a like. Okay. Okay. So, no, sir. There is no option for it because it is a, a PDF that Pranjal sent me. Hmm. Okay. So, I think this is the starting point. Um, yes, sir. Yes. This is the first part that they have to answer, and. Uh, the first part uh, after that uh, he has made a diagram and uh, the thing that uh, the sir uh, sir was telling me that you have wasted a lot of space so the constraint will be for in uh, uh, like there will be a thing that uh, you will be given some proper amount of sheets in those sheets you have to write all of your answers and you have yes, to sir. manage with those sheets only yes. so if you are going to uh, if you are uh, wasting uh, this much of space it will uh, not be helpful for you sir, uh, sir one uh, thing also sir actually uh, uh, in this copy i have written this uh, answer is quite small inside sorry ab pehle pehle page pe jao aman jara go to first page jo pranjal yes. ne likha hai i am i am sorry i am trying to make it this way huh? to check it out so uh, this is the question uh, this this question is related to uh, i think this answer kahan se pranjal start kahan se hua ye answer sir ye और उसके बाद आप जो आपका लाइन लिखने का ना ये लाइन वाला पेज है आपका इस लाइन वाले पेज में क्या होता है अगर आप ध्यान से देखोगे आपने एक लाइन एक एक लाइन छोड़ा हुआ है उसके बाद दूसरी लाइन में आपने स्टार्ट किया है जहां पे आपने लिखा हुआ ना री आई एम नॉट इन पोजीशन टू रीड इट अमन कैन वी मेक इट लिटिल मैग्नीफाइड अगर मैग्नीफिकेशन कर के कर सकते हैं यस यस हमने मैग्नीफाई किया जा सकता है ना इसको हां यस यस आ नॉट इज परफेक्ट सो ये मैं जो जहां पे आपने लिखा हुआ है ना इसको कैलकुलेटर सीपीयू उसका इट इज इट इज वन एड्रेस दिस थिंग जो आप स्पेस छोड़ रहे हो ना वो लाइनिंग्स और स्पेस छोड़ने वाला वो मेरे को समझ नहीं आ रहा कि व्हाई यू आर लिविंग दिस लाइंस एंड व्हाई यू आर लिविंग दिस स्पेस दैट मे नॉट बी रिक्वायर्ड आई थिंक उसको थोड़ा सा अच्छा बनाया जा सकता है मेरे को लगता है जो लिखने का तरीका है आपका सारा का सारा राइट right? ओके okay, सर तो वो पेज का प्रॉपर यूटिलाइजेशन इज समथिंग व्हिच कैन बी डन एंड आई थिंक अंडरलाइनिंग एक अनदर पार्ट है जो आप कर सकते हैं हेडिंग इज थर्ड पार्ट व्हिच शुड बी डन प्रॉपर्ली heading yeah, underlining yeah. and space uh, living these are couple of things which are to be done so uh, one this is uh, what he has written as a uh, introduction part or what to the question sir uh, the question that i have asked is that we he have uh, they have to uh, define what is accumulator cpu and then uh, explain the working using the instruction design okay instruction design of accumulator cpu that is the second part right no the, uh, that is the first part also uh, first part uh, itself and in the second part i have given a numerical that they have to solve in a descriptive way like it's not a kind of a numerical you can say it is uh, uh, in that they have to solve the numerical by explaining the working of this uh, accumulator cpu sir uh, so can you, you can go through with it uh, 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 you know uh, making the points regarding this uh, lining and all after that uh, after you complete it, i will uh tell him what uh, the what are the technical mistakes that he have done theek hai theek hai next page pe chal sakte hain kya ma next page pe ha next page pe ye jo diagram hai ye mere ko ye pata nahi chal raha hai ki diagram wo ek hi diagram hai sara is this the yes. single diagram yes sir hmm. okay uh diagram i don't know i mean there was something to be explained in this diagram or wo diagram mein explain 
जो करना है वो कहाँ पे मार्क करना है क्या है दैट आई एम नॉट वेरी श्योर अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर डायग्राम एंड बिलो वी गो आर वी रेफरिंग दिस डायग्राम समवेयर या प्रांजल पूरे एक्सप्लेनेशन में कहीं डायग्राम को रेफर कर रहे हैं हम सर सम व्हाट एक्सप्लेनेशन इज गिवन इन द बिलो सर बाय टेकिंग एन एग्जांपल आई वन आई टू आई थ्री गो टू द नेक्स्ट अमन नेक्स्ट पेज अगेन दिस पेज इज मैग्निफाइड कर दें आप इसको ओके दिस इज द पेज नाउ दैट इज द थर्ड वन दिस बी पार्ट इज द सेकंड पार्ट अमन राइट दिस इज द बी पार्ट इज द सेकंड क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव आस्क्ड ओके ओके सो दीस टू क्वेश्चंस एंड दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट वी आर आंसरिंग इट दैट ओके 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 आई थिंक डायग्राम 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 कुछ ज़्यादा ब्यूटीफाइड बनाया जा सकता था और और एक ट्राई करना अगर आप ब्लैक पेन से बनाओ एक साइड रख के नहीं जो पूरा पेज आपको yes. मिलता है उसके सेंटर में अगर आप डायग्राम बनाओगे दैट विल बेटर आई थिंक उसको बिल्कुल सेंटर में रख के डायग्राम बनाना ब्लैक पेन के साथ बनाना और उसमें जो भी डायग्राम के ऊपर लिख रहे हो दैट शुड बी वेरी वेरी क्लियरली रिटर्न वो लेजिबल होना चाहिए पढ़ा जाना चाहिए वो बहुत अच्छे तरीके से दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर यू आर टू डू और आई डोंट नो वेदर देर वाज अ नीड ऑफ राइटिंग समथिंग लाइक जो आपने एक्सप्लेनेशन किया है उसका कंक्लूजन पार्ट कुछ होना चाहिए एट द एंड और नॉट बट दैट अमन विल बी इन बेटर पोजिशन टेल बट मेरे को लगता है कि इंट्रोडक्शन एंड एंड और शुरू में थोड़ा सा लाइन अप क्लैरिटी के लिए आप बता सकते हो क्या हो सकता है और जो मेन रिजल्ट होता है तुम्हारा उसको जैसे रेक्टेंगल वगैरह में आप शो कर सकते हो दिस इज द मेन फाइंडिंग फॉर दैट सो दैट्स ऑल फ्रॉम वाई साइड अमन नहीं आगे और है सर एक इसका ना द वे ही हैज डन द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दैट इज दिस लुक्स लाइक क्वाइट मैं सर थोड़ा सा बड़ा करना अमन इसको थोड़ा आप अगर हम कर सकते हैं हां 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 ये ये क्रिस क्रॉस किया है बहुत ज्यादा प्रंजल आपने कट कुट किया है बहुत ज्यादा यस सर ये बहुत इंपैक्ट पड़ता है इस चीज का राइट लाइक प्रंजल हियर इफ यू कैन सी here you are yes. doing what you are st stating that information decoding phase will take 2 mr yes sir it this was for uh, this instruction pc 1004 instruction right but you are mentioning it below after pc 1005 that should not be the case okay okay so i'll show you the answer that uh, i have prepared yes. for this so see mm -hmm. what you are doing define the accumulator cpu and it's working so here what we are doing in an accumulator cpu organization first of all one of the alu operand is always required in the accumulator theek hai so we are maintaining that yes. one operand will be uh, present in the accumulator and the other is either present in the register or memory which will be will, uh, we will take through yes. tr during the execution of alu operation yes. second operand is transferred through temporary register to alu after the data processing result is placed in the accumulator now when you make a diagram you have yes. to mark the region <laughs> this is the working of accumulator cpu this memory yes. is out of that frame yes. right yes. memory is out of frame so you have to tell that this is accumulator cpu here accumulator is connected through tr and then you are uh, performing the alu operation and then you are uh, putting the result back in accumulator after that it was asked that you have to show that using instruction design so first yes. you will show the instruction design what is it that you will have a op code you have a address which is a one address instruction so it should be a one address instruction format now using op code you are telling that the type of operation there are two types of operation one is data transfer one is alu operation in the instruction design you are also telling that the source is present here destination is present here accumulator can be the source or memory can be the source same goes for the destination and this is the type of operation that we are doing memory read or memory write right. similarly for alu operation now you cannot leave it there only you have to explain what is the data transfer and what is the data manipulation operation like in the data transfer transfer takes place from register memory to accumulator or accumulator to register memory and data manipulation is what operand 1 is taken from accumulator and operand 2 is taken from the register memory through tr now we move to the numerical part of the question first of all this is the information that is given to you that you have load a instruction and load b instruction these are stored in memory 1000 now you will 
make a memory space that this is how the instruction will look like. We will also provide the information that a cell is 8 bit. So opcode will also take one cell and address is 16 bit. So address will take two, two cells. So one. Yes. And, so we will, we will establish that it is a three word instruction in both the cases. After that, you have done this. So the instruction phase will go like this. First, you will explain that you have fetched the instruction. After fetching the instruction, what is the next thing? It will decode that there are two more fetch required. So we will explain it that when CPU fetch the load instruction, decoder will decode the instruction and let the CPU know that it is a three word instruction and two more words will be required. Load instruction is stored where? We will mention it that load instruction is stored in the IR register and PC is incremented. Now you see PC is incremented here. We have shown that it is the information fetch and here PC is incremented. Now the next two steps PC will be incremented again and again and we will fetch the remaining of the instruction and it will come under what information decode section. Now once we have fetched the instruction we will put that instruction in WZ pair and we will fetch the operand from that memory and put it where in the accumulator. So this will come under operand fetch and write back situation. So for now in, in your case you have made one box you have to show both the instructions differently that in instruction one for a operand information fetch phase we had one mr for information decode we had two mr then operand fetch one mr and then write back into the accumulator to one m one rr after that for instruction two again we will do the same procedure that we will fetch the instruction we will fetch the instruction then we will fetch two more two more of the instructions then we will store that in WZ register, which will fetch it from op uh, uh, operand fetch stage will be there. Now, processing data will be done. Input data we will uh, input through accumulator and TR. We have shown it here. It will be fed to the uh, ALU. Then the output data will be again placed in the accumulator. We have also shown that this comes under PD and write back phase. After that, I have again written that for I2, each of the phases will take how much references, 2MR, 1MR, again, ALU, 1ALU and 1 accumulator. And then we have shown uh, that in the program execution tab. In the end, hence, uh, to just your, uh, you know, that you have to answer the answer. Total, how uh, many times, sir, if you have a 20 number question, sir, how many times do this question? Sorry. देखो आपका 300 जो आपका 300 नंबर का पेपर है उसको तीन घंटे दे रहे हो आप. Yes sir. Yes, sir. और मेरे को लगता है आप 200 200 मार्क्स या 250 मार्क्स का पूरा पेपर अटेम्प्ट करेंगे आप three hours में. Yes. So that way but typically you understand 20 marks के लिए कितना आपको क्वेश्चन का आंसर देना पड़ेगा. How much time you have to devote for that right? मेरे कैसे 15 मिनट से ऊपर नहीं दे सकते आप मैक्सिमम यस सर यस सर मैक्सिमम 15 मिनट्स 10 टू 15 मिनट्स फॉर 20 मार्क्स क्वेश्चन 15 मिनट्स विल बी मोर देन इनफ टू अटेम्प्ट अप टू दिस सेक्शन क्वेश्चन है ओके एनी डाउट्स प्रंजल एनी डाउट यू हैव नो नो सर नो आपको बहुत ज्यादा इंप्रूव करना है प्रंजल एक तो कंटेंट जो अमन ने आपको बताया और दूसरा जो प्रेजेंटेशन है उसमें बहुत मिस्टेक्स हैं प्रेजेंटेशन बहुत अच्छा होना चाहिए आपका एंड ट्राई टू राइट इन द लाइन वाला पेज नॉट इन दिस पेज बिकॉज़ यू आर गोइंग टू गेट लाइन वाला पेज देयर राइट दिस में लाइंस होती हैं एग्जामिनेशन हॉल में लाइन वाला पेज मिलेगा आपको सर लाइन वाला तो सर ये भी था जिसमें मैंने लिखा है सॉरी सर इसमें सर मैंने सर क्वेश्चन को लिखा सर वो भी सर शायद लाइन वाला ही है सर हाँ आप लाइन वाले पे प्रिपेयर करो आप मतलब क्योंकि एग्जाम में भी वही मिलेगा यस गॉट इट ओके और थोड़ा सा अच्छा बनाना ओके सर आई विल ट्राई आई विल ट्राई नेक्स्ट टाइम इन सर व्हाइट पेज सर आई थिंक इट वुड बी मोर बेटर सर रफ पेज को यूज मत करो बाकी ट्राई टू यूज टू पेंस एंड अंडरलाइनिंग एस पेन बहुत अच्छी क्वालिटी का नहीं है अगर पेन अच्छी क्वालिटी का होगा तो राइटिंग भी इंप्रूव हो जाती है आपकी परचेज अ गुड क्वालिटी नहीं नहीं सर एक्चुअली 
actually sir uh, fault is in sir uh, notebook sir actually it is a rough copy my hmm. pen is okay sir no problem proper utilization of the space acha pen lena hai black color ka ek pen le lo blue color ka pen le lo don't take any other color other colors okay. may not be permitted like agar aap uh, aur color ka lete hai na green color red color that is not allowed black and uh, 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 you know blue ब्लैक से डायग्राम बना लेना और डायग्राम जैसे आपने एक तरफ बनाया उसको सेंटर में बनाना उस तरीके से थोड़ा सा उसको अच्छे तरीके से करने की ट्राई करो राइट ओके आई थिंक मधुस्मिता हैज आल्सो ज्वाइंट अमन ओके सर ओके सो वी कैन गो फॉर मधुस्मिता सर एम आई ऑडिबल यस यस यू आर हेलो या या सो मधुस्मिता इज दिस व्हाट यू हैव रिटन यस Pranjal, you are yes, there, right? yes, अभी देखो मधुस्मिता का मधुस्मिता का राइटिंग थोड़ा सा सिस्टमेटिक है वो पेपर चेकर यहीं से पता लगा देता लड़की का पेपर है वो ज्यादा नंबर देता है फिर तो प्रंजल तुम ऐसा लिखोगे उसको लगे लड़की का पेपर है तब तुम्हें दो नंबर ज्यादा मिलेंगे प्रंजल हाँ वो देखो उसका सिस्टमेटिक बनाया मधुस्मिता ने सो कैन बी इंक्रीज द फॉन्ट ऑफ दिस लिटिल बिट ये सर श्योर Yeah, so this is uh, now she has written. Font ka size बहुत छोटा है मधुस्मिता अगर आप इसका फॉन्ट थोड़ा सा बड़ा कर सकते हैं लिखते टाइम भी अगर आप कर सकें और लाइन वाला पेज पे लिख पाए उससे आइडिया लगेगा तो यू हैव टेकन अ ब्लैक पेन एंड यू हैव टेकन अ ब्लू पेन दैट इज अ गुड थिंग एंड वेर यू आर राइटिंग इंस्ट्रक्शन डिजाइन आई डोंट नो दैट पेन विच यू आर यूजिंग टू राइट इंस्ट्रक्शन डिजाइन वो पेन आई डोंट नो उसकी इंक बहुत सॉलिड uh, नहीं है जो आपने ऊपर लिखा था ब्लैक पेन दैट वाज बेटर थोड़ा सा फॉन्ट बड़ा करें आप उसको और जो कटिंग है जैसे ऑफ द ऑपरेशन टाइप इज डेटा मैनुपलेशन एक्चुअली जो कटिंग करते हैं ना आप आंसर लिखते टाइम वो वन ऑफ द मेन रीजन होता है आपके नंबर कटने का तो आप कोई भी क्रॉस ना करें कट ना करें जो आपने लिखना है कुछ चीज अवॉइड करें उसको कि कट करना पड़े आपको बाकी आपने जो लिखा है दैट लुक्स लाइक ओके एड्रेस लिखा है अंडरलाइन भी आप कर रहे हैं चीजों को आई डोंट नो दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग यू आर अंडरलाइनिंग और नॉट थोड़ा सा नीचे चलेंगे अमन वी गो नेक्स्ट ओवरऑल लेट मी चेक इट आउट ये आपने पेंसिल यूज किया है क्या मधुमिता जो आप बना रही है टेबल पेंसिल यूज कर रही है तो इंस्टेड ऑफ पेंसिल यू बेटर यूज द ब्लैक पेन ओनली क्योंकि पेंसिल में क्या होता है ना वो आपका शीट्स बंद करके देता है वो पेपर चेक करके बस तो उसमें मिट जाता है वो पेंसिल वाला पेंसिल तभी यूज करना है अगर आपको रब करने की रिक्वायरमेंट है अदरवाइज आप उसको ब्लैक पेन में बना सकती हैं राइट इंस्टेड ऑफ पेंसिल एंड सोर्स वन सोर्स टू यू आर यूजिंग दैट लुक्स लाइक ओके नीचे आना इसमें अमन दिस पेज इज ओवर नो यस यस सर so 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 why you are using the 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 page 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 at end 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 memory to accumulator oh, bhi ho gaya page, aap, uh, next page you could have used right yes, yes. Hmm. Pe underline kar sakti hai na, aap wo, aap underline karke us se karna. <laughs> Aapne data manipulation को तो अंडरलाइन किया है लेकिन डेटा ट्रांसफर को अंडरलाइन नहीं किया है दैट मीन मिट्री मिसिंग है कहीं ना कहीं आपका तो अगर आप डेटा मैनुपुलेशन को कर रही हैं इफ द ऑपरेशन ऑपरेशन इज डेटा मैनुपुलेशन अंडरस्टूड डेटा मैनुपुलेशन आप फोकस करना चाहती हैं ऑफ द ऑपरेशन इज डेटा ट्रांसफर आई डोंट नो वेदर डेटा ट्रांसफर इज सिमेट्रिक टू डेटा मैनुपुलेशन एज फार एज द हाईलाइटिंग इज कंसर्न इट कुड हैव बीन डन आई थिंक और तीसरा जो आप नीचे लिख रही हैं हैंस द डेटा ट्रांसफर हैपेंस फ्रॉम मे बी अगर स्पेस नहीं है तो आप इसको शिफ्ट कर सकती हैं नेक्स्ट बहुत कंजेस्टेड मत लिखना वहां पे नेक्स्ट अमन नेक्स्ट पेज मे बी जस्ट अ सेकंड सर मे आई गिव सम यस श्योर मधु द थिंग इज इफ सम इफ समवन इज चेकिंग यू आर मेंशनिंग हियर दैट सोर्स वन सोर्स टू एंड डेस्टिनेशन सो यू ट्राई टू राइट in a systematic way that yahan pe bhi accumulator you write at source to you write memory or register and in uh, destination also you write memory or register because sorry accumulator because if you don't write the first thing that i saw was that you have taken a, a three address instruction for data manipulation whereas a data manipulation instruction in uh, your accumulator cpu is a one address instruction right because like the made three boxes no doubt you have explained it down here but the first impression that goes is like you have uh, uh, made a three address instruction second thing in data transfer 
accumulator to memory or memory to accumulator you are missing one thing that you can do accumulator to memory slash register or memory slash register to accumulator you can also take from register also if uh, the diagram that you have made here in this the diagram is a little different but it is a correct diagram so you can see as we can see here the input to temporary register is from register and also from memory so you have to mention uh, that in the question also in the answer also that from accumulator you can uh, go to memory or uh, your register because if you are giving some uh, input from register you have to mention it uh, sir over to you okay now here comes a diagram which you have made and uh, i don't know diagram is not looking very good uh, uh, diagram is not very good aap isko maine bataya ki aap pencil use na karke agar aap red black pen hi use karti hain that will look better otherwise wo bahut zyada acche tarike se visibility nahi ho raha hai uska aur jo bhi aap font likh rahi hain aapka font bahut chhota hai isko thoda sa clear bada font mein aap likhenge to acche tarike se padha jayega aur aapko chhota size banane ki requirement nahi hai jaise aap register likha hai bahut chhota sa likh diya uske andar that is not required make a very clear diagram and uh, different color for diagram if you can use black color for diagram that will be better and uh, usme rest i think what you have written is okay for example uh, aapne kaat diya hai aage to uh, for uh, example ka x nahi hota x is not the symbol for example ya to ex likho aap to wo uh, dikh jata hai otherwise example pura likh dengi that will be, that will be better example de sakte hain aap uh, us tarike se क्रॉस कटिंग नहीं करना है दैट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड एंड उसके बाद द रेस्ट इज लुकिंग ओके फोन छोटा है क्रॉस कटिंग हो रहा है थोड़ा सा दैट इज द ट्रबल कमिंग द रेस्ट इज ओके आई थिंक व्हाट एवर अदर थिंग्स यू हैव रिटन इज ओके सो i1 को अंडरलाइन किया i2 को अंडरलाइन किया i3 i4 को अंडरलाइन नहीं किया सिमेट्री मिसिंग है वो थोड़ा सा देख लेना आई डोंट नो दैट इज द सिमेट्री यू हैव टू मेंटेन लेफ्ट एंड राइट आपको बैलेंस करना है so next uh, aman i think next page if she is written so uh, one more thing here uh, madhu either you make yes. this if you are making this double sided arrow this double sided arrow means that it will be taking input from accumulator and after uh, completing the operation it will give back or store the result back into the accumulator am i right yes sir so yes. then why you are using this arrow so either you use this arrow and a single side arrow or you use only one arrow with a double side implication theek hai redundant hai wo galat hai matlab diagram mein uh, second thing the question is that define accumulator cpu you have defined it you have made the diagram and it's working with the instruction design so you have uh, shown the instruction design in the previous example a previous page so no need to give these type of examples because they are not asking for this if they have uh, they had said ki uh, define accumulator cpu and it's working then it is okay to take whatever you want like you are taking examples you are taking instruction design but they have uh, in the question it is specifically mentioned that define accumulator cpu and it's working using the instruction design so you have to just define the instruction and type of instruction not uh, by giving these type of examples okay that's enough sir like that the previous explanation like that so data manipulation data transfer those things this only enough ha huh, this is enough of code address yes yes this is more than sufficient i Like example is needed, so I elaborated that thing. Example, uh, this uh, you have explained the working of accumulator CPU yeah. by the theoretical, by theory here in the starting of the uh, in the starting of the question. After that, what you are doing instruction design, and by this instruction design, you are explaining the working only. So you have done what they have asked. So no need to give these type of examples. Otherwise, you the question will get lengthy and you will um, waste unnecessary time. Yeah, so whatever, we do, like whatever, whatever we do, whatever whatever we do in the class, you don't need to write all of it. You just write whatever is asked in the question. Okay.
मधु एम आई ऑडिबल पॉसिबल कहाँ पे लिखा हुआ है और आर कहाँ पे लिखा हुआ है तो अगर थोड़ा सा आप एक ही लाइन में लिख दोगे उसको वो प्रेजेंटेशन बहुत अच्छी लगेगी आपकी इट विल लुक लाइक कि इसका इम्पैक्ट नहीं पड़ता लेकिन मैं बता रहा हूँ इसका इम्पैक्ट पड़ता है आपके 300 नंबर में बहुत इम्पैक्ट पड़ेगा इसका तो आप अगर एक लाइन पे एक जगह पे लिख सकती है तो देट इज गुड देट इज देट मेक सेंस उसके बाद थोड़ा सा नीचे चलेंगे अमन वील गो लिटल डाउन एंड हाउ इट इज गोइंग There are three memories. This thing is three answer. Okay, that that is looks like okay. So, मेरे को ठीक लग रहा है ये वाला presentation ठीक लग रहा है. Other than कि जो आपने cutting किया है उसको avoid कर सकती हैं आप. और symmetry आपका font size थोड़ा सा बड़ा कर सकती हैं. Sentence एक line में लिख सकती हैं. Rest I think is okay. Line वाले page पे लिखने की try करना मधुमेह. Smitha, right? Yeah. Over to you, man. Yeah. Uh, my question is that uh, in this question, uh, I don't. Think that uh, you have understood the question correctly. See, two. First of all, only yes, two sir. instructions are given: load A and load B. So they will be stored something mm -hmm. like that. Like load A address is two three four eight. So it will be stored in four eight two three because address is of sixteen bit and one cell can only contain eight bits of data. Again, add and. Sixty four forty eight. Now this you have done here eight bit opcode, three bit required to represent the opcode. Ha, I don't know from where you are getting this information. You sixteen bit address, four bit are required to represent. Uh, I don't know what uh, procedure did you uh, you you used in this, but uh, it is uh, very wrong. Uh, I don't know how you are doing this. Again after okay. that you are mi mixing this question okay. with expand opcode technique. so if you uh, and also uh, in the end there were only two instructions mentioned in the question but you have used a third instruction i don't know from where so if you are uh, the question that, it was asked it was like it will be stored in address 1000 so i used that list here the question Store. was that instruction is stored in instruction is stored in thousand so this means this is the address where the instruction is stored after that you have to calculate so this will be used to calculate the pc if you want to see how the answer would be in this case it is first of all uh, this will be the memory space so first of all pc will fetch the instruction add instruction will be fetched by pc and sorry load instruction will be fetched by pc and it will decode it that two more fetches are required what so it will fetch add first it will store the add in ir after that it will fetch 48 and 23 from the memory and using the those 48 and 23 it will fetch the data and put that data in the accumulator now in the accumulator we have data 6 again for the second instruction it will fetch add and after add it will fetch two more addresses and those addresses will be stored in w and z register and using w and uh, w and z register we will fetch the data and put that data in tr so accumulator will have 6 tr will have 10 and then we will do the processing of the data they will be added and put back into the accumulator so here we are processing the data by fetching the data from accumulator and tr the alu operation is done then the output data is Uh, stored back into the accumulator which will come under processing and write back phase after that you have to calculate the total number of fetches memory fetches that you have to calculate so one memory fetch was here two memory fetches was here three fourth was for wz register four memory fetches after that 
one here, two here again, and one for WZ register. So four memory fetches here. So in total, there will be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So these are the four memory references that were asked in the question. So you confused it with opcon expand technique. So uh, try to uh, revise this topic again and then uh, try to attempt this question. Small dog, like how four, like in the instruction page. Like that 4823, that was two operation, no? Here, here. Um, okay. So you will fetch this, you will fetch this, you will fetch uh -huh. this. EMR? This is three. Yeah. Now you have then the again, address of A. The address of A is what? 2348? Now let's assume that 2348 is present here, which will have data six. Now you have to go here and fetch this six also. So one memory reference for this operand fetch. Okay. Here you are fetching the address only. Now you have to go to that address. This is the effective address that is given in the question also in uh, question itself or memory itself. Then you have to go to that effective address to find out the data. So that is why three plus one okay. four MR. Yeah. Okay. Uh, over to you, Vijender, sir. Okay. So I think this is okay. Uh, so Madhu, I've already told you where you this scope of improvement. So keep improving on those lines and keep writing more and more, right? It should be legible and uh, font size should be more. Don't use any other color except black and blue and use the lined pages where you can write. Diagram should be made very nicely with the black pen and it should be symmetrically located. Uh, and uh, no crossing, no rubbing. These are the small, small things per question will fetch you one and one and a half more marks. So overall, it will create a difference of 20, 30 more marks, right? Madhu Got it? Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay. okay so I think there was one more student. I think she joined so it her, or not. Her, no, no, no. Sir, her answer was not complete. Uh, so that's it, I think, for today. That's it, sir. Okay, okay. So then I, we take leave of it, uh, Madhusmita and uh, Pranjal. Thank you. Thank you, Aman.